everybody welcome to my channel let's solve the problem numbers with same consecutive difference so in this problem it is given as a n which is like represent the number of digit in our number and k is represent like every pair of consecutive digits in our number should have absolute difference k so, and also the number should not be contain any leading digit 0 so here for n equal to 3 and k equal to 7 so for all possible uh, numbers which has length 3 so these are the five numbers which satisfy this absolute difference between any two pair of consecutive number is 7 how see it's 1 8 has a difference 7 8 1 has absolute difference 7 similarly 2 9 has 7 and 9 2 has 7 here we have 7 0 7 which is satisfying number, but we don't have 0 7 0 because 0 7 0 is valid but it is invalid because it is has a leading zero so we should not return this in the result so let's understand how we will solve this problem let's say if we have n1 so for all the digit possible digit we have for n equal to 1 0 1 up to 9 so this doesn't matter whatever k this has the absolute difference any k is k so we can say that if n is 1 this is the answer but if n is not 1 in case let's say n equal to 2 and k equals to 1 how we will solve so first we will start so all the leading digit possible leading digit are from 1 to 9 then we will build based step by step go depth and build the number based on this k so first let's say we initialize our number let's example for example from any first digit one then we will have two options we can go one zero and we can go one two so if we see here this absolute difference between these two digit is one satisfying the property so how we will go these two direction so for going we will check first the digit last digit basically the last digit of our number so far so the last digit of num by using the modulo in the 10 so num modulo 10 this is our last digit then we will check if if we add k in our last digit last digit plus k it should be in a single digit number like belongs 0 to 9 it only so we will check it should be less than 10 so if it is then our next number will become so the next num will become the number then we will multiply by number by 10 so that we can accommodate this new digit plus the last digit plus k similarly for this side we will take the so last digit is same but another possible case is if last digit minus k greater than equal to 0 which means this is also possible so we can take this as well so the next our another next digit next number will be num into 10 plus last digit minus k but there is also one more condition we need to take care if k is 0 in that case this last digit minus k as well as last digit plus k both are same it does not matter so we will put another condition check here k should be in so that in case of k 0 we should use only one number so this is how we will go through so let's understand for another digit so if we start from let's say 5 and we are building n equal to 3 and the difference absolute difference is let's say k is 4 so in case of this let's say first we pick the 5 so in case of 5 we will go to the 5 plus 4 which is 5 minus 4 let's say so this will become 5 minus 4 which will be 1 similarly this side this will be 5 and 9 then we will go further one more down we can have another option 5 1 
but if we do minus k we cannot do because the last is 1 minus it go negative so we can take only this option 5 and 5 and similarly from here we can take 5 9 so the absolute differentiate before so 9 minus 5 is 5 and we can go the further right so this is the case another case let's take another example for n equal to 3 and uh, k equals to 2 so in that case let's we started from 3 so we can go to 3 and then 1 similarly from here we can go to 3 5 from here we can go 3 1 and 3 again only because the negative the other case will be negative so we will not here we can go 3 5 3 or 3 5 7 so these are the three possible number which is starting from the g3 and length 3 and satis has the absolute difference in between the consecutive numbers is 2 so this is the way we can solve so how we will write the code so this is very simple dfs recursive code we will write so first we will start for all the digit from i equals to let's say or num is equal to 1 to 9 then we will call the dfs method and every time when we call dfs we will pass the i as in like we will reduce the num because we already initialize this one and then i passes as i and the k for the checking the conditions and the list that's that list will store all the numbers that we have to return the answer once we done how we will write the dfs so for dfs here we will check in dfs first base condition is this if n becomes equals to 0 which means we adjusted the length in that case we will add this number so this is let it call num so we will add this num in our list so list is let's say the result dot add the num and from once we reach this we will return from here otherwise we will check these two cases as this like this one and this one so here is the code i have written over here so this is the base case when n equal to 1 we will return the answer as all those digits 0 to 9 otherwise we will create a result set reference object which will be passed into the dfs call here and we are looping the dfs call for all the digit from 1 to 9 then in this dfs method we are checking the base case if n equals to 0 which means the termination condition we will add that number in our result and return from here otherwise we will get the tail digit and this we will compare this tail digit plus k if it is less than 10 we will add this and another condition if tail digit minus k greater than equal to 0 and this one more condition we need to add here which is k greater than 0 as discussed because uh, to avoid the case when k equals to 0 the duplicate case so the tail digit plus k and minus will be same if k is 10 so we will add another condition and with this and this will call recursively so here is i added this condition k equals to 10 and if we submit this code this will be accepted so what is the time complexity of this solution so every time we have two choices and for each number we are running n n length number we have two choices so the we can have two key power n recursive calls n minus one recursive call like first we are choosing and here it is a nine digit for nine digit we are running so this is our time complexity so it's roughly we can say n to the three power n time complexity so that's it if you like my solution press the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching